Okay, hopefully you've watched the basics video, you've had some great fun making some simple loaves, and now you want to try something a little bit more exciting, a little bit different. And what I'm going to do now is my personal favourite. I just think this is great fun to do, really great with kids as well, this one. What we're going to do is we are going to make a focaccia. Lovely, soft, cakey Italian style bread. Simple to do, really simple, but so effective and great for for snacking as an accompaniment, sitting in the garden with a bottle of wine, fantastic stuff. And like I say, if you want to get the children involved in this, they really enjoy it because it's very hands-on, a little bit messy, but great fun to do. So I'm going to use the white dough in this instance, but can very happily use the multigrain. They'll both work really, really well, not a problem. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple cherry tomato and basil for capture. But it, it's really up to you. Open your fridge, what have you got in the cupboard? The simplest, just put a little bit of olive oil and rosemary on there, some sea salt. But you could put olives on here, you could put goat cheese on here, you could put little cubes of feta, you could put red onion, peppers. Sky's the limit really, it's what are you fancy, you can pop it on here. But the principle will be exactly the same as what I'm going to show you right now. So for the simple version we're going to do now, always start just simply by stretching the focaccia out. You can use a rolling pin for this if you want to, but you know what, you don't need to. Ideally. If you can let the dough sit at sort of outside of the fridge for oh, five minutes or so before you use it, just to warm very slightly, and you can see how easy that was to make into a square. Okay, at the side here, I've got the tray that I'm going to use. Simple baking sheet with sides, doesn't have to have, but the sides are because I've, as you can hopefully see there, I've covered the bottom with a nice coat of virgin olive oil. And I've made the dish about the right size so it will fit on there quite nicely. Once I've got it like that, all I'm going to do, I'm going to pick it up. So we'll pick that up and we'll drop it onto that tray. You can leave it on the, on the um, top for a little while longer, just to rest a little bit so it doesn't shrink back so much, but it'll come back as you push it, not a problem. Once we've got it like that, as you can see, it's on the tray. Hasn't got to be perfect, this is fun, it's rustic, it's simple. So you can imagine, children doing this feels great. Lovely though to touch. Virgin olive oil, don't be shy with the olive oil. That's a big part of it, that's what makes it that focaccia, that cakey, cakey flavour. So we get that on there, and then we're very simply going to push that in. And this is where children are going to love this one. Just don't let them lick their fingers in between. But it's great fun. Pushing it out, making it fit around, giving it that dot. Each one of those, that olive oil you can see is just falling into those little pockets, and that's what you want. Once we've got that like that, we're then going to pop the cherry tomatoes on. And you can be as neat or as untidy as you like with that. I've just got halved cherry tomatoes that I've already done, and I'm literally going to go four abreast. So we'll go down to there, and then we'll just go like so. As you can see, really simple, but again, if you're doing this with children, you can make faces, you can make shapes, you can have cheese in between each. You can play with this as much as you want. It's really robust, really forgiving, so simple to do, and just wonderful to eat. Really, really lovely. To tuck into. Once we've done that, I'm just going to get a little bit of that oil off my fingers because it gets a bit messy. And now a little bit of basil on this one. You can use fresh basil, but I'd rather finish it with fresh basil. Dry basil bakes better actually on the product. So a little bit of basil, but that could be rosemary, could be oregano, could be thyme, could be anything you like. And then really importantly, a little bit of flaked salt. Don't be shy with the salt, it's what makes it. Obviously, you can do it to your own tastes. I like it nice and salty. On it goes. You might want to keep an eye on the kids when they do this though. On that goes, and that is done. It couldn't be easier. We're going to let that prove, but unlike other breads, it doesn't have to prove up so much. So I'm going to put that at the back. Doesn't even need the cloth over the top. Because it's got the oil on, it won't dry out. So I'm going to put that over the back there. And probably in a nice warm kitchen, 15 minutes or so when you start to see it just bubbling and rising up a little bit that will be ready to go in the oven and then just before we put it in the oven we'll just press it with our fingers again to make a few holes and then that will go in the oven for about 20 minutes but we'll have a look at that in about 15 minutes when it's proved. Okay so the focaccia we made is looking absolutely spot on now so that's been on the back there for probably about 15 minutes or so 15-20 minutes tops nice warm kitchen in here today uh, and as you can see, it's come up a treat. Nice and puffy, looking really good. You can see the oil sitting on top there. So that's pretty much ready to go in the oven. The only thing I like to do now is just, every now and then, just put a few extra little dimples in there, just to help make sure those little pots of oil 
sort of fill up nicely. But don't go too much, I want to knock all the air out, but just add a few extra bits like that, and then that's ready to go in the oven. So I'm going to take that, pop that straight in the oven here. Now I've turned the oven down a little bit for this one. Because it's got all the oil on top and it's not that thick, you don't want to bake it too hot. So I've turned that oven down to about 180 degrees, and you'll also notice I didn't put any water in with this one. Reason being, whereas when I'm doing the, um, the loaves, etc., and you want that crust, that's why you're putting the steam in. You don't want a crust on the focaccia. You want the focaccia to be soft and almost cake-like in its texture, so we don't put water in with this one. We just bake it plain. So 220, deg uh, sorry, not 220, 180 degrees, no, no steam, and that's going to take, I'd say, about 20 minutes in this oven, and we should have a really lovely, soft, golden brown and oily focaccia for you to have a little look at then. Okay, so the focaccia's had about 20 minutes now uh, at uh, 180 degrees and is looking really rather lovely. So I'm going to take that out. I think I'm very happy with that. And we can have a little look at it. And there she is. I mean, look at that. You can see those little pools of the olive oil just sitting on top there. Beautifully baked off. She's risen up an absolute tree. And as hopefully you will agree, looking at that, that is just unctuous and ready to eat. If there's any olive oil left on there, don't throw that away. Make sure that goes back on the focaccia. And you'll get that lovely crunch of the sea salt, that sweet, sort of sweet and sourness almost with the cherry tomatoes, that little bit of acid and the bit of sweetness. The lovely rich olive oil on there and the herbs. And that, a chunk of that, some meats, some wine, some cheeses. What more could you ask for? That's how easy it is to make a focaccia, any type you like.